Here's Chris Spears with our forecast. And Chris, is there going to be any type of rain that's going to happen anytime soon? Well, no, <laughs> nothing widespread. Justin, we will get, uh, you know, a few of those pop up thunderstorms today on the eastern plains. Now, as we go through the week ahead, we are going to see uh, our thunderstorm chances go up just a little bit. I'll show you that here in a second. 60s on the eastern plains this morning, 70 already in Ray, 58 in Fort Collins, 45 in Frisco, 66 in Grand Junction, and 55 out of Telluride, 41 in Craig this morning. It's a little bit of a crisp feel to the, some of the mountain communities this morning with the uh, 40. 62 Shelby Majors, our weather watcher in northwestern Fort Collins. 53 down in the southwest part of the state from Jonathan Greenspan and Telluride's Mountain Village. Here's the satellite and radar outside of just a few areas of clouds and of course tons of haze and smoke in the air. We are dry statewide. High pressure sitting right over the four corners and it stays here for uh, really the next several days. It wobbles around a little bit, but it doesn't go away. This covers the entire western United States. Now here's where we talked about uh, thunderstorms maybe increasing a little bit midweek. There is some moisture out to the west that will eventually get caught into the flow of that high pressure coming our way. So that'll help the chances of storms just a little bit, but not nearly enough. Here's statewide future cast. Now we're looking at two things here. I've put the wind vectors on for you this morning to show you we have a westerly flow of wind this morning, but watch this. By this afternoon, those winds turn around at some point for eastern Colorado, and that will push that smoke away from the Front Range or at least thin it out a little bit, so that is some good news. But the bad news, the western side of the state, your flow turns northerly and that will concentrate the smoke and push it to the south. So some areas that have been smoke free, that may change. Then with daytime heating, we'll see some thunderstorms pop up. They'll be mainly where they were yesterday on the eastern plains to the east and south of Denver. And a couple of these could potentially be strong to severe. Once again today, just like we saw yesterday, some pretty big hail uh, fell around the Peterson Air Force Base down in Colorado Springs yesterday. Severe threat, it's a marginal to slight here on the far eastern counties. That's where the risk was yesterday. The rest of us, we're dealing with this, the poor air quality and high uh, smoke concentration due to all the area wildfires add in ozone along the Front Range, and we have some pretty bad air today. 90s on the eastern plains and western slopes, 70s and 80s today in the high country. We're going to go for about 94 in Denver. This will be day 56 in Denver, so we will officially get into the top five list of annual 90 degree days for the city, tying 2002. That is not a stat we want to see, but unfortunately we'll keep climbing on that list as the 90s stick with us. And Justin, just a few chances for thunderstorms at this point. And you know this, the weather shifts mm -hmm. a little bit, but we think Wednesday is probably going to be our best chance. So that's what we're looking at. All right, thank you so much, Chris.